Hi, John Woodfield here. In this video, I'm going to explain the differences between a Canadian Tax-Free Savings Account, or TFSA, and a U.S. Roth IRA, and answer a number of questions that we get on this subject. As cross-border advisors dealing with a lot of U.S. residents and citizens, it comes up quite often. While they have similarities, there are also a whole lot of differences. Let's go through these differences. The first is the carry-forward rules, the second is the contribution rules, and the third is the taxation rules. Let's first talk about contribution room. The Canadian tax-free savings account and the U.S. Roth IRA have vastly different rules around contribution room. With a Roth IRA, you can put money in so long as you have earned income and don't have too much earned income, otherwise you're unable to contribute to a Roth IRA. With a TFSA, every Canadian, once they turn 18, accumulates contribution room each year. This started in the year 2009, so it has been a very successful plan. Now let's look at the carry forward rules. What a carry forward rule means is, can you carry forward money that you did not put into a plan this year into a following year? With a Roth IRA, you cannot do that. It's either use it or lose it. Fortunately, with the TFSA, it doesn't work that way. Any amount that you don't put in in any given year, you can roll to the next year and you could roll, if you haven't put anything in, you could have been rolling it forward or carrying it forward from 2009 and have a significant amount that you can now put in your TFSA. Since the Roth IRA, you would lose your contribution room if you don't use it in the year you have it. With the TFSA, your contribution room accumulates into the future until you actually utilize it. Now there are significant differences between the taxation of the money you take out of a Roth IRA and the money you take out of a TFSA. With a Roth IRA, for example, if it's not a, considered a qualified distribution, you can be taxed a 10% penalty. For it to be a qualified distribution, you have to be past the age of 59 and a half, and you have to have had the plan and the money in the plan for at least five years. There are a few exceptions to this rule, such as financial hardship or disability. Also, we're only talking about the income or the earnings on the plan you can take out your contributions without incurring this penalty. A TFSA is much more flexible. You can take the money out at any time. For example, if you took out $10,000 this year, there'd be no taxes or penalties on that, and you could put the money back in in a future year. Both accounts are set up by the respective governments. Also, the funds that you put into these accounts are after-tax dollars. This means once you take the money out, so long as you abide by the rules of the Roth IRA, you pay no tax on your withdrawals. Now, before we wrap up this video, I'm going to address some common questions about TFSAs and Roth IRAs. One question we get quite a bit, is a TFSA the same as a 401k? And it, the short answer is no, they're, they're vastly different. It's like comparing Canadian apples to American oranges. And the reason why they're different is, as we've discussed earlier in the video, a TFSA is before tax money that's sheltered and you can take out tax-free. Where a 401k is generally an employer-sponsored plan in the United States where an employee puts in money, an employer puts in money, and when it's taken out, you get taxed on it. So vastly different. The next question we get quite often is, is, is a TFSA, the tax-free savings account, a really good way to save for retirement? The short answer is yes, it's definitely a great way to save for retirement. What you can do is put the funds in there, have them accumulate tax-free, and take them out tax-free. The other advantage of this is the pool of money you have in there as you withdraw from it, it does not affect your old age security. There is no effect on the clawback whatsoever. So there are a lot of great financial planning tools to save for retirement with a TFSA. Another question that I often get is, is a Roth IRA better than a TFSA or vice versa? And the truth is, neither is better than the other. If you're able to have both, you can have the best of all worlds. If you're planning on moving to Canada or are already in Canada and are having cross-border complications, please schedule a call with a Swan Wealth team member. If you found this information useful and want to learn more, please go to our website and read the full blog post of TFSAs versus Roth IRAs. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.